Hello everyone, this is me Arijit back with a new video and it's a video on Raspberry Pi and Home Assistant. So in short, I'm going to show you how you can build the ultimate Raspberry Pi 5 setup for Home Assistant. So as we all know with Raspberry Pi 5, Raspberry Pi has launched their official cooler uh, which you can use to save your Raspberry Pi from being overheated. And also they have launched their uh, M.2 hat through which you can connect NVMe SSDs with your Raspberry Pi 5. So obviously uh, in my one of previous videos I showed you how you can install Home Assistant in Raspberry Pi on a memory card. You can definitely do that but we all know memory cards, SD cards are not that reliable and obviously they are not fast also. But with this NVMe SSD, obviously it's more a lot, lot more faster and as well as is more reliable. Okay, you can watch my separate videos on this stock cooler and NVMe SSD. The links are in the description. You can check them so you will know how much like uh, how much temperature difference you will get with this active cooler or not and how much speed difference you are going to get with uh, NVMe SSD versus uh, SD card. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the active cooler and how you can use the M.2 hat with NVMe SSD with your Raspberry Pi 5 and then how you can install the home assistant in the NVMe SSD. So overall, you are going to, going to get a very cool and complete setup for your home assistant. If you are going to use it for 24 seven, I really recommend you to use this setup. Okay. So all these things we are going to cover in this video. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel so that more this kind of videos you are going to get in the future. And now without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so at first we are going to install the active cooler in Raspberry Pi. So here we are having the active cooler. As you can see, and in the and the, as you can see here, we have some kind of pad here. We have to open the pad and put it in the Raspberry Pi. And also here we have the like fan socket. This thing we need to put in Raspberry Pi. So here I'm having my Raspberry Pi 5, as you can see. So now to put it in Raspberry Pi 5, it's very simple. Uh, you have to match the pads accordingly. So for example, in this way, you have to place it. Okay. And then in this side here, we are having the pad. So now I will fit it. So now to fit it properly, uh, the first thing is obviously we need to remove the pad in this way. And here we are having the thermal paste already applied. So we don't need to do a lot of things. One thing we need to make sure that this uh, spring loaded screws, as you can see here, uh, this should put here, as you can see here, there are two screw like this kind of two holes. We have to fit those, these two things here. Okay, so I'll just put it properly. So as you can see here, I have attached it properly and here you can find the spring loaded push pins, these two pins here. And this is how it looks like. Now I have this uh, pin here, the basically the fan socket here. I need to put it here in this socket. So I'll just take this one and I'll put it here. So now we are done installing the active cooler. Now the second thing is obviously we need the Raspberry Pi M2 hat, so the NVMe hat and this is how it looks like. So now I'll just open the package and I'll see what things we are getting inside it. So basically three packets I'm getting. So one is this uh, GPIO extension. So this thing we have to just take and in the Raspberry Pi here we have to put it in this way. So we have to match it properly and we need to just push it a little bit and it will be done and in this way it should be installed the next thing is we are getting the screws and stuff so using this we can just put this uh, hat over it uh, in presence of this uh, active cooler and obviously the third thing is the main thing which is then to hat so here i'll take it so as you can see this is how it looks like now here we have to put our nvme and here we have the fps cable Okay, and this FPS cable we need to fit here in this PCI Express like this port here. Okay, so it's very simple. Now I'll just use uh, the screws so that I can fit it properly in this way. So in this way we have to fit it. Okay, and then we can put the NVMe over it. 
so i am done installing the spaces here as you can see the next thing is we need to connect this uh, m2 hat with it so before that first we are going to connect the fps cable with this pci express port here so simply we'll take this we're going to open you just put this thing little up and uh, we will insert it and as you can see uh, it has been connected properly so once it is done next uh, we need to basically we need to put this thing properly so the gpio extension pins should fit properly in this way in this way should fit it and this is how it should look like and finally we can put the remaining screws over it now we have connected the raspberry pi m2 hat with the raspberry pi 5 along with the active cooler and this setup is completely done the final thing is we need to add the nvme here now as you can see here you should uh, use a 2230 nvme or 2242 nvme so 2230 means actually 22 mm by 30 mm and 2242 means like 22 mm by 42 mm this two type of nvme is gonna fit properly here and you can use this screw to fit them properly but in my case i don't have any of those so i'm going to use this like a uh, bigger nvme here now obviously it's not going to fit properly but for the demo it is just going to work just fine so in your case also whatever nvme you are having you just need to put it in this way put some pressure on it and you are done and you need to put in this way and then you need to add the screw okay in my case the screw will not fit because it's the bigger one but in your case it will simply fit into it properly okay so this is how we are done the next thing is we have to do the software setup okay guys so now as the hardware setup is done now we have to dig into the software setup now basically here for the very first time we have to use a sd card because by default raspberry pi uh, boots from the sd card so we need to write the raspberry pi image in our sd card we have to get into the raspberry pi and we have to change the boot order from uh, sd card to in uh, like nvme ssd or usb okay so we have to change to that for that we have to use the memory card for the very first time but from the next time you don't need it you can just remove the memory card okay so now uh, like uh, we are going to change the boot order but now how you can install the home assistant os in the nvme ssd now there are two ways the simplest way is obviously if you have a usb to nvme converter you can directly connect the nvme with your computer and you can write the home assistant image directly through raspberry pi imager that is the simplest uh, way but obviously i think most of the people does not have usb to nvme converters so i'll show you the second way which is uh, once we are inside raspberry pi so like i already mentioned for the very first time we have to use the memory card to get into raspberry pi once we get into the pi in raspberry pi inside raspberry pi we are going to use the raspberry pi imager to uh, write the home assistant image in the nvme ssd okay like uh, so if you uh, didn't understood this part so basically uh, you see uh, you are going to connect the nvme so you we already have connected the nvme ssd with our raspberry pi okay so by default raspberry pi is going to get the nvme ssd inside it so now if we get into the pi and using a raspberry pi imager if we write that image to the nvme ssd then the os like os will be loaded in nvme now then if we change the boot order from sd card to nvme from the next time they are going to uh, the pi is going to boot from the nvme ssd and now in the nvme ssd we have written like home assistant os so home assistant os will be loaded okay so this is how we are going to do it in this video and i will show you the step by step process okay so here i already have inserted the memory card in my uh, macbook now i will open the raspberry pi imager from here i'll choose the raspberry pi 64 bit os and uh, from storage i'm going to choose the memory card and then i'll go to settings and here i'll just uh, change the password so i'll give a password for my raspberry pi and next i'm also going to provide my wi-fi credentials so it will automatically connect to the wi-fi i'll click on save and next i'm simply going to write it and so to write i also need to provide the password so once uh, so it will take few minutes to write it in the memory card and after that uh, we can simply click on continue we can take the memory card and we can put the memory card in raspberry pi and and then we have to boot the pi once booted next we can ssh into a raspberry pi so i'll simply write ssh pi at the date raspberry pi dot local uh, next i'll just simply provide the password and now we are inside the raspberry pi 
Uh, you can also do, uh, yeah, you can directly connect HDMI cable, but here I'll just do in this way. So I'll write sudo raspi config and uh, to get the Raspberry Pi setup. So here I'm going to enable VNC. So I'll just go to interface options. And from there, I'm just going to enable VNC so that I can just get the screen access. Once VNC is enabled, I can just simply click on finish. Next, I'm going to just use the VNC viewer. So I'm using a uh, real VNC viewer. And from here, I'm again going to connect with raspberrypi.local. And here I'll just provide the password. And as you can see here, I got the screen access. Okay. Uh, next is obviously, uh, simply we can just click on the Raspberry Pi logo from here, go to uh, accessories and from there Raspberry Pi imager. Okay. Now here, uh, once the, once uh, it opens, we have to first select the version of Raspberry Pi. So it's Raspberry Pi 5. Next the OS. So here we have to just go to, uh, as you can see here, other specific purpose OS and from there home assistance. And here you will find a lot of OS, but we have to select home assistant. Okay. And here 13.1 I'm using storage. You have to choose here. I'll choose the SSD 256 GB SSD. I already have connected with it. And finally you, we are going to click on next and here simply click on yes. Okay. Again, we have to provide the password. And once you provide the password, it will write, it will take few minutes. Okay. And once it is done, so here I am fast forwarding, you can simply click on continue. So now the home assistant OS has been written in the SSD. Uh, now we have to NVMe SSD. Now we have to change the boot order for that. Again, we will write sudo raspi config. And from here we have to change the boot order. So we'll go to advanced options and from there boot order. And here we will select NVMe uh, USB boot. Okay. So it will take few seconds to change the setup. Once done, click on OK. Uh, here you can simply click on uh, finish and here you can reboot it, but I'm not going to reboot. I'm going to just click on no. And here I'm going to shut down the Pi and then I'm going to remove the memory card from the Pi. Okay, so here I've shut it down and now I'm going to remove the memory card from the Pi and then again, I'm going to power it on. So next time it can. So even if the memory card is there, still it is going to boot from the SSD only, but I have removed the uh, memory card. And now again, if I do now, if I just go to the web browser and I just write home assistant dot local and port 8123, you can see that home assistant is loading. That means that the Pi has been booted from the NVMe SSD. Okay. So this is how it's going to work. Now again, for to home assistant to set up, it will take around 15 minutes. Once done, we are going to get something like this here. We have to create the user. So I'm going to put a name. So simply uh, I am going to put H a test. Okay. So home assistant test. And also I'm going to provide a password here. And also we have to confirm the password. So next you can just click on create account. So once the account is created next, I need to uh, put my location. So simply here, I'm going to write uh, Kolkata. It will going to give me the option. I'll select it, click on, and from here, I'm going to click on next and finally, uh, here we have to just click on next and here it will going to show you all the local devices. It, okay. And you click on next. And then here, as you can see, we can see the home assistant dashboard. Okay. So here the installation is complete. Next time you can just click on home assistant dot local 8123. You will get the home assistant. Okay guys. So if you want to know more about home assistant, like how you can connect your devices, how you can create your dashboard, how you can like uh, add hacks, how you can add USB home devices, all these things. I have separate videos on home assistant in my channel. Uh, the links will be in the description. Also, you can go to my channel. You can check out all those videos and more. This kind of video is going to come soon in future. So please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So you will get updated and now that's all for this video. I'll see you in the very next video.